that hurt me the yeah. most. You understand? By something we will never, ever get over. As the grieving process remains fresh for the relatives of Faith, Ariane, Shane, and Tiffany Peterkin, the stillness persists in Larry Treat Extension Arima one day after the siblings were gunned down at their home. When CNC3 visited the neighborhood on Friday, the family's home was locked up, with pet dogs, chickens, and ducks being the only signs of life at the property. One relative who lives near the home spoke off camera and lamented the brutality of the murders while calling for justice for her family. We just need to find whoever do this tragedy with them four little children, whoever do that heartless. The relative said the sheer brutality of the murders prompted several residents to flee the neighborhood for their own safety. She said those that stayed behind were reluctant to leave their homes for long periods as the fear of reprisals persists. The whole neighborhood move out. Everybody gone. Everybody leave the thing and gone with this killing. You see with this killing here, with this fortune, where everybody whole neighborhood is. A single police SUV was seen patrolling the roads connecting the neighborhood in a bid to remind residents that the authorities were still in control. The resident said while the presence of police brought some reassurance to the community, it was still hard for her to feel safe. I scared to sleep in my own house. I have two babies. I scared to sleep in my house. Oh, like me and my husband because we're afraid to come back. Contacted for comments, senior police said while investigators were pursuing several leads, they were unable to say whether anyone was arrested. For now, Larry Street residents continue to mourn the murders of the Peterkin siblings while fearing for their own safety. Shane Superville, CNC3 News.